Hey, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We've got the Wakira Runner 250 Pro out here. We're just going to take it for a short flight uh, up over the lake. Eh. Unfortunately, my FPV battery is dead, so we won't get any FPV, but we'll just get some short lake flights. I'm not going to go really too crazy with this. Um, as... Uh, And now we're in GPS mode. I want to let it settle into GPS mode and see what it does. It's kind of watching people here on the beach. And uh, take it up. And we got GPS lock, which is good. And we just kind of take it out. I'm a little bit nervous because altitude hold doesn't work on this one like most of the other ones. And so... You actually have to stick this one a bit for altitude. You notice that it's drift. And so we're just kind of letting it set in and then take it out a little bit. And then yaw it around. Again, I like the light so I know it's facing back at me. And bringing it back in. And we're bringing it back in towards us. I'm just trying to get a little bit of experience in flying this. Nice braking. I want to bring it down. Just trying to get a feel for the throttle. And I want to spin this around. And take it up a little bit more. And take it out over the lake a little bit. And we'll raise it up a little bit, and then we'll hold it there, and we'll spin it around. Notice, notice the rise as I uh, kind of yacht back around. I want to bring it back. It doesn't move too quick in GPS, which is actually good. It's uh, I think I think this is where it's a really a good good beginner copter as uh, as we kind of look at it as set in, and we kind of see it. It's kind of Check it out there. Raise it up. I think it'll get some pretty good cinematic videos over the lake here in the future. Especially once I remember to charge the battery. Well, actually I did charge the battery, but then I left the FPV recorder on while it sat in my car. So that was a uh, bad thing. Bad thing, Joe. And uh, let's do it. Do this once again. And we're taking it out there because if I screw up, it's $300 in the drink. Notice it rise a little bit as I take it out and then I downstick it. Now this is about the furthest I've taken it out there. Notice it rise a little bit. I want to turn it back around towards me. Again, this is where I really like the headlights. And so we're bringing it back in. And again, I'm just kind of watching the people on the beach too, is people walking down this way. And uh, we're flying it down around this way. But see, I, I really wish I'm going to have to do some playing, see if I can hack something here with regards to this altitude hold. I would really like it to be more like a, the spark. And I know, again, I'm probably sounding sacrilegious, but I don't want that drift. So it's actually holding pretty good with the uh, the drift as it is. So when it's thick, stick, is that even a word like that? You notice a little drift. And I'm surprised because this has dual GPS. So I would expect a little bit less drift because it does have glass notes as well as standard US GPS. So uh, both of those are are in there. So uh, anyways, I've got GPS. So anyways, I just wanted to take it for a couple test flights over the lake, kind of show you guys, get a little bit more braver with it. Uh, battery flight time on this is probably about eight minutes. And uh, it does have return to home on low power. And I want to be careful because I did launch it back over there and it's kind of close to those branches. So I don't want to let it run down on power. Um, but I do want to back it up. I am going to kind of land it over here, I think. But no, no, notice that rise is, uh, well, don't run it into me, damn pilots.
You gotta go backwards with it. Oh, I see if I can land it on the picnic table. Keep it out of the sand. Let's see if I can do it. And let's go down. Well, we didn't make we didn't make the picnic table. We didn't make the picnic table, but we did make the ground. Kept the uh, propellers rather clear of sand, so that's a good thing. Or the motors. So, anyways, another great flight of the Wakira. I've done a couple of flights. I haven't really filmed as much with this as I would have liked, um, really because of time. And uh, eh, I'll be honest with you, a little bit of popularity. The Spark Spark videos always uh, are far more popular than this. But I, I really want to work on uh, stuff with this. And I've got the uh, Bug 6 in and some of the FPV stuff because I think it would be uh, a lot of fun. It takes a lot of practice, at least for an old guy like me. Um, but we do have the Bug 6, which is another ready-to-fly uh, copter. Now, the Bug 6 doesn't have GPS and stuff. It's not as sophisticated, but it's only about a third of the price of this bad boy. I am still really impressed with this. Uh, I really feel that if you're thinking about getting into uh, FPV, but you don't want to go crazy and be like Sharpoo or Mr. Steel, this guy is really the way to go. Um, I kind of got hosed a little bit on the camera thing. I, it wasn't clear in the advertising, but apparently this comes with two cameras. This is a 720p camera, and it doesn't have uh, the slot in it for an SD card, where there's another version that's about $100 more that does have a 1080p camera with an SD card slot in here for recording. So I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to try to make up a camera mount for this guy, or I'm just going to go ahead and spring the extra 100 bucks and get the 1080p. 80p camera, but just be uh, cognizant of that. You know, the 300 some dollar version only comes with the 720. You got to get up to the four or five hundred dollar one, and that's the difference in a lot of the advertising on all the sites I've seen. Really, are, you know, it's not that clear about this. So, anyways, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know what you're having for lunch in the comments. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you want one of these, I've had cards up there, links below. Get one, it's great. See you guys later.